Guys, five big announcements for tech talent globally were made at the recent collision conference here in Toronto by the Immigration Minister of Canada. Guys, the Canadian Immigration Minister had made it extremely clear that Canada, the Canadian Immigration is looking for tech talent, people in the tech industry to move to Canada on a couple of work permits, PR pathways. So yes, Canada has introduced a couple of new programs for you guys. So five big pieces of information for you out of which two are important new programs and there are three improvements that Canada is doing for all of the tech talent globally. So if you are in the tech industry and if you want to move to Canada, then blend the both together with this video and you will get a perfect smoothie if you want to move to Canada. Guys, please be sure to watch this video till the end. My name is Sahil. Guys, welcome back once again. My name is Sahil and I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant and I practice here in Ontario. My office is here. If you have to get in touch with me, my number is on the screen and the details are there in the description box. More than happy to speak with you. Before we move any further, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button because we talk a lot about Canadian immigration. And if you are an aspirant of moving to Canada, then this is the channel that you must be subscribed to all the time. So guys, we are discussing about this particular collision tech conference that happened in Toronto and the immigration minister of Canada was there and he made some big announcements at that particular conference talking about how the tech talent globally can move to Canada. And at the conference, he did make some big reveals, which includes two particular new programs and three big program improvements, which we will be discussing in this video today. So please be geared up. Here are the five big announcements from the Collision Tech Conference. First, Canada has now introduced a new work permit for the US H-1B specialty occupation visa holders. Anybody in the US at the moment who holds a US H-1B specialty occupation visa, you guys, if you have your visas expiring very soon, then you guys can make use of this particular program. You can move to Canada with an open work permit up to three years. Not only you, along with your family members, your family members will also get this open work permit. Best part is there is no job offer requirement and it's going to be an open work permit. There is no dependency on any employer. Another thing to note here is that only 10,000 applicants are invited in this particular program on a first come first serve basis. They say that this program will be open for one year, which we are highly doubtful because the tr 2 pr pathway that opened up previously got filled up in a few days. So this one won't even last a day, but let's see how the program requirements or the intake is going to be spelled out like. So that's the first information. The second information is that Canada is going to come up with a new innovation stream for the tech people under the IMP, the International Mobility Pathway. Guys, International Mobility Pathway as it is, is a famous program that helps in hiring foreign workers. Now within this uh, particular stream, Canada is introducing a new innovation stream that will help hire tech people in Canada. This particular stream will be live in the end of 2023, but there are two important categories that have been announced by IRCC in this particular program. The first announcement is that they will look at a five year work permit that will be employer specific provided you are going to be getting a job offer from a designated employer that has been assigned by IRCC. So that's the first category. The second one will be a particular uh, knock code or a highly skilled occupation, in demand occupation that is being identified by RCC. Those people will get a five year open work permit. You heard that right? A five year open work permit for highly skilled people in a specific occupation. So two categories under the innovation stream. The best part or the most important thing to note here is that IRCC is going to create an LMI exemption code for these people. These guys can use that LMI exemption code and apply for an open work permit up to five years. So one will be employer specific and one will be open work permit. Depending upon what your situation is, make use of that. Okay, so these are the two important new programs that IRCC has revealed. There are three major improvements that IRCC has talked about. The first one is the digital nomads. Guys, digital nomads is nothing but just a visitor visa that is promoting tech people digitally freelanced or people who are working from home, people who do not have to go to an employer in their local countries or whatsoever. Those people if they're working from home, obviously if they have those proofs and all, can visit Canada, live in particular communities. They will be given the freedom to live in those communities. 
get you know apply for more jobs and whatsoever and also if they get jobs they can then apply for you know uh, the requirements of a job offer depending upon which province or which community they are in but what ircc wants to do is they want to promote the tourism in those smaller communities and make sure that people who are working from home can go to those communities live spend money spend you know spend on taxes and whatsoever and promote tourism inside canada so digital nomads has been existing in you know in the past couple of weeks but ircc wants to improve on this makes it more stronger so guys if you can do your job remotely and if you want to experience canada while you're working on this try to apply for a visitor visa under this digital nomad category and ircc will look at approving this and then you can work from home while you're inside canada you're visiting canada guys the next improvement that ircc has announced is on the global skills strategy for the tech people obviously and before the pandemic this particular skill strategy was important because it was an important pathway for people or for companies to hire people without an lmia and this was mainly important because with this just had a two week processing time now during pandemic everything was you know all over the place there were no timelines being followed so this time at the collision conference the immigration minister had said that they are now returning to the two week processing time for the global skill strategy stream and people can now count on this no lmi required but you should be working for a company that is eligible under the global skill strategy if you get that you will get a work permit within the two week processing time and ircc will make sure that this happens for sure and guys last but not the least are the startup visas we all know that the tech industry is famous for startups and ircc has once again recommended and recognized that the startup visas happen to be an important part of the tech industry so they are making improvements to the startup visas and the self employed persons first they are going to be tripling the target by admitting about 3500 people under this particular program in the year 2023 they will also look at inviting applications in a faster method where a committed capital number has been promised by the applicants and not only that they will also give a 3 year open work permit to all the members of a startup where people can you know make use of that open work permit come to canada start working before these startup visas get approved for pr so yes all the people who are applicants of startup visas can definitely now rejoice you guys don't have to wait for 36 months now to come to canada you have an open work permit at your disposal you can use it come to canada and start experiencing canada and setting up your startup here so guys these were all the announcements made by the immigration minister for the tech industry the tech community guys canada is an important place for the tech community to grow it is without a doubt a known fact that toronto has been growing immensely popular in the you know within the tech industry especially people from the the h1b community of the us people are being laid off us is now fighting for jobs and people can get transferred to canada with these particular announcement made by the immigration minister and him targeting the tech industry specifically clearly shows that canada is looking forward to becoming the next tech giant in the world of immigration so guys make sure that you go through these particular programs in detail try to identify which one suits you the best and try to plan and strategize in your you know your next moves so that you can fit into these programs and make sure you move to canada immigrate here because canada will have more programs in terms of claiming your permanent residency at a later stage so please feel free to do that if you want any help in you know assessing your profile or identifying what suits you the best we would be we would be more than happy to speak with you understand your requirements and then give you a tailor made advice guys we wish you all the best and we really hope to see you soon in canada all the best